Alright, let's just uh, go through the trainers real, real fast. Indeed. Um, so, uh, Stadium, Aether Paradise Conservation Area. It couldn't be shorter, that name. No, it really couldn't be shorter. It needed the, all of those words. <laughs> the APCA. Yeah, the APCA. So, so, <laughs> so basic grass Pokemon and basic electric Pokemon, both use and opponent to take 30 less damage from opponent's attacks. Yeah. Uh basics, huh? What do our, our what are we playing that are basics in those types that are good? Like nothing? See, that's kind of the Well, I mean, if you're playing like the Raikou deck, which I mentioned uh, earlier, and I, I still think it's a little dubious. Yeah. I mean, Raikou has, like, the buffer thing already. Would you play like this, this over Rough Seas? Uh, that's the question. Where I mean, you can just heal two of them. There's not no reason to. I mean, yeah, this... They are better in different situations, right? So this is better if you're actually going to take punches, and the other one's better if you can not die in a punch. Yeah, I mean, so I guess it depends what kind of format it is, yeah. you know, but I, that, it's a little thing, weird. This is very powerful, and eventually we won't have Rusty, so there's something. I, I think if we're playing it in the Raikou deck, though, <clears> this <throat> is going to have the opposite effect against Garbodor, where they just Leaf Blower this away, and all of a sudden this is negated, and they do more damage. Well, I mean, this doesn't count, because it's items, not stadium. Oh, right. Oh, that's true. But, oh, that's true. Um, I mean, Ooh, never mind then. Well, it still it still removes it, I guess. But right, I, I mean, there's no avoiding that. I was thinking trainers, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> Leaf blower is just great. We just have to contend with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So next, altar of the moon, eh? Because moon is not cool enough. <laughs> uh, the retreat, the retreat cost of each Pokemon that has any psychic or darkness or dark energies attached to it is two less. This is great. that's pretty good. It's good. Um, I'm just thinking if it's good enough in those types where we already have things that does that but better. Well, Dark doesn't really have a stadium it wants to use. And uh, what, there's Zoroark in Dark right now? I mean, I mean having Dark has the 10 now. extra damage stadium, though. You know, people don't usually play that one, though. Like, they no. usually just play, like, Parallel City or whatever. Or Silent Lab sometimes. Yeah. This is good. Uh, uh, like... When we need to use this is a question, but we probably do at some point. I mean, this free retreats is a rourke, for example. Uh, that's true, but oh well, you need an energy on it, right? So, well, sure, but like, so you're not never putting a yes energy on it. That's not double right. colorless, though. But I'm saying you don't need floatstone. Yeah, that's which true. If you're right, now but that then again, actual tool removal, like that, might be useful. Yeah, that's of course, true. I guess the removal. Then they remove this. Also yeah, this. <laughs> exactly. <So. laughs> But I, I'm just weird, not. Card. It's always weird with stadiums because if you play it, oh, it also helps your opponents, right? So if you play, well, that's true. If but we, like, yeah. uh, that's just the, the way it is. I, don't know. I mean, I know, but then we have to think: what does this help in the format? And I'm just thinking that Garbodor actually gets a lot of help from this. Oh, that's true. That's valid. Um, so um, not, that's a bit. I don't know. I don't know, but you could be it could matter. Garbador. Like, it just goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, if you're playing Garbodor, then yay. <laughs> and if they're also playing Garbodor, then oh no. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's obviously about uh, but, the situation. I mean, overall, I, you know, I like this card. I, think we, I like we, it. It's, we'll, it's one we'll of the better ones, I think. Mm -hmm, for sure. Let's um, move on. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Altar of the Sun. Hey. Sun. Hey. <laughs> sun. Hey. Uh, this, on the other hand, is much worse. Fire and Metal Pokemon, or Steel Pokemon? Metal Pokemon. Steel Pokemon? It's kind of funny to think that Have Steel no Pokemon goes to be two Fire Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're so, not... There's already a better one for Metal, right? The Metal Stadium that I don't remember the name of. That just removes... Is that in standard? I don't actually remember. I'm not sure either, but I don't think you're going to I mean, there's enough... This. There's enough fire Pokemon in standard that if you are metal, you may want one of these. Oh, well, that's but, true. I mean, I but you're not, I don't think, because there's so many fire decks in standard, or Volcanion is in standard, I just don't think you're playing metal in standard. Right, particularly since there's stadium removal now, but, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, I don't um, think it's good enough, sadly. Yeah. This, uh, this next card probably also isn't good enough. 
You know, it's kind of underpowered. I don't know. I mean, look how ugly the art is, and just read. We're just the text. gonna have to kind of it's throw so little text on it. It doesn't even have four words in the name. I don't. I don't even. Oh, I also have four of them because apparently one of my trades went through. Sweet. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Sweet. Do you have four gold ones? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have four gold ones, but the gold uh... one is super smexy. Yeah, this is Aquapatch. We oh mentioned it many times. Although uh, you may not have known we were mentioning it because I said Patch about. It's actually a pretty. It's a pretty bad card. So if you have any extras, you could always just send them to me. I'll, I'll oh, take them. it's this you know, guy. I'll, I'll offer a pack rate. A dog really wants to go out, but we're soon done, so it's fine. Uh, Aquapatch, the most broken card in the set. No, well, it's not. Maybe no. Tapu Lele's. T Tapu Lele really is a, a on tough, that list. tough nut to crack on that one. Uh, Aqua Patch is just super good because it opens up water much more and expanded, which I like, personally. Yes. So that means we don't need to play uh, the darkness anymore. We can play the waters now. Which well, is we could play Blastoise already. Meh. I think this is better than Blastoise. This is not uh, as... I think they lend themselves to different strategies. Yeah, I, I guess. Like, mm, but even you're then, not loading a with this. Aren't but you, you, you can you play can. a different deck when you don't need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not very quickly. I mean, I like. I mean, it. We're talking about a format where now there's like Decidueye with like 250 HP on turn one. Like, yeah. Hey, you can use it on um, Silas Toad. <laughs> All right, yeah, shall that's... we? Shall we move on? I mean, everybody I'm knows so that this is just bananas, right? Silas Toad's better. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Everybody loves um, Seismitoad. Let's make yeah. it better. Uh, uh, yeah, Aqua Patch is great. Yeah. Uh, there's It busts water a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of water busts... Why can't we get this for everything? But, hold on. All right. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic water or a basic fighting Pokemon. Put it onto the bench and shuffle their deck. So I know a lot of people have got, like, hype this card. I like this card a lot. What are you searching and, for? And, you know... What are you searching for? Yeah. Was that like anything? What are no, no. water you searching yeah. for? <laughs> <laughs> it's well. <laughs> no, it wasn't actually. I meant in general. Like, uh, where do you want to play this? People play water too, Larks. Like, ah, water find stuff. Well, like this is more of an early game stadium, which is kind of weird. Yeah. Um, but I, I like this. Oops. Hold up. Yes, there Lapras is. Uh, oh, hi. Welcome back. Lapras is a card. <laughs> uh, Obviously, no sock, yeah. But uh, I, I, so it's a master ball every turn for bait. Oh, it's a nest ball every turn for two types. Yes. Important distinction. Uh, yeah. Very um, important. No, I like this. Like, the, the cool thing about this to me is that, like, you know, your immediate thought is like, "But I'm playing Rusties." But like, the thing is that you want Rusties at a very different point in the game than this. Yeah. I don't know. This is powerful. Like, it's just a tutor. Which is no, we're, we're also just talking about water right now. You can yeah. do all sorts of fighting things with this. You can go find Regirox. <laughs> yeah, you can find Regirox. I mean, that's true. That's the thing that uh, you yeah, want to find and put into play. Yeah, it's the thing. I'm just yeah. not sure that. I mean, I've always been wrong about the trainers, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, I understand that it's strong. Like, it's a good ability. Obviously, searching for things in your mm -hmm. deck is always great. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I just, just don't like see it. it or no, I, I'm fine with that too. Like, even if it's this, like, <laughs> if it's a mirror match, you play it and both get to it. It is what it is. You're so just gonna play it doesn't it, yeah. matter. Uh, it, it really depends on what kind of mirror match it is, because sometimes you want them to play for it sure. for them to waste the card, and sometimes, yeah, you know. I don't think it's going to matter that much in the format, but um, it matters in the Lapras matchup, because you want more cards in your deck than them. But when it goes down to the deck out. Uh, I don't like when it goes down to the deck out. Wriggles. Uh, it happens quite often with Lapras, actually. Like Scorched Earth and Rough Seas too much for now. Yeah, those two are yeah. definitely powerful. Yeah, I just don't see where it's... Like, yeah, this, see, see, this dive ball and nest balls. Because um, I'm mostly thinking about water now, though. Uh, and even Karina, <laughs> like, I feel... I don't know. I I find it hard uh, to find a good spot for the stadium, I guess. If that makes sense. Yeah. Compared to the other I mean, stadiums as well. The other thing to remember is that 
cards stand standard for like a long time and like someday we won't have those things but yeah um, but leaf blower makes this worse okay let's move on doom well, no, blade like, kills that's, things that's the other thing about this stadium this was one of the best stadiums against leaf blower you've already gotten your value that's true <laughs> no you like, play it away, in the fine. mirror match you, you play it you search for your card and then you leaf blower it exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all right i wonder uh, if PTC, ptcr is gonna let you do that kill your own stadium with leaf yeah blower. i think you can sure. i think you can so I, mean, I would hope so, but stranger things have happened. Next card will uh, uh, just invalidate an older card, so that's that's unfortunate. Oh, I have four of this yeah, too now. But Sweet. Boop. I mean, <laughs> it invalidates an older card. That was a card we were like, "Gosh, we really wish this older card did the thing this card does." So. Yeah. <laughs> so this does <laughs> thirty more damage to GXs and EXs, and it replaces the old one that does thirty damage to EXs, and it couldn't be equipped on EXs, which this one can. Right. So this is just it's just flat better. And they just buffed works. that card basically and said, mm -hmm. "Let's let's put it in the format." And this makes so right. many okay attacks good. Oh yeah. But, so we have leaf low in the format though, so it's not the end of the world that this happened because now we can actually Meta handle still it. Around, right. So, right. Machamp. Metachamp. Like the double attack. One. Oh, Metachamp. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> yeah. It's back, baby. We can't play it again. But then again, leaf blower oh. just happened. But yeah. Yeah, who cares? It's I fine. care. No, it's not. Well, we can re wait. Look then, at then we have Echo, the thing that returns the tools to the deck and everything, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I need to go and build this deck now. I have the choice pants right now. Let's make. <laughs> it will happen. It will happen later on. Well, and you no, can use. No. See, see, you can use that stupid stadium to go. Find Thank you, Mike. Red Rocks. I mean, it's real, man. It's real. It's gonna happen. This might be good. Uh, I mean, I love the Medicham. I love that deck because it's like bad, but not um, bad. <laughs> if that makes sense. Right. It's weaker it's like than bad, most decks, but it's still. But still yeah, exactly. You still can win tournaments online with it. Like, oh, yeah. What's but, Medicham's like? What's Medicham's like damage output now? Like, would you go like strong energy, strong energy, choice band, four Regirox? What is it? It's 30 base? Or is it 20 base? 30 base. That's 70, 140, 280. Just kills anything. That's good. I like it. Because Red Rock is not basic, right? It's just fighting. What? Red Rock doesn't buff basic fighting, right? It's just fighting. I'm pretty sure. I haven't read Red Rock lately, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's true. So it's so it doesn't work on Medicham? I'm pretty sure it does work on Medicham. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, then we have... Uh, <laughs> let's move on to the next card so we get through these. Energy Lotto. Or Lotto, I guess. Yeah, I'm not uh, really sure what to do with that. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal, reveal eight energy card, find it, and put it into your hand. And you just look at your max elixirs, and then you look at this card, and you're like, hmm, yeah, okay. This is just never going to happen. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know. I mean, I guess they have a fire energy on the art here, which means you're going to play this in your fire decks where you need to discard them for vol your Volcanians. Uh, I suppose... But then why are you not playing Professor's Letter every yeah, time? I, every time. Or the Pokemon that is Finds Professor's two, Letter. Uh, yeah. or this, I don't I, know. I don't know what the point of this is. Because um, it doesn't find... It's oh, uncommon. you can find special energy with it. Oh. Like oh if all you want to do is dig for double colorless, then this uh, I guess that. it finds strong energies. It if you're playing that. those. But, uh, and double colors and dragon. Know, dragon. If you play the dragon the... and double colors in G decks, yeah, then maybe. Okay. That's where I could see it then. I'm, I'm still not sure. I'm, I'm not sure how much I like this even then, but. I still I I mean, have to play the effect. bikes, I think. Oh, I'm all about bike. Uh, I'm all about the bikes. All right, let's move on to uh, the energy, energy recycler, which is just reprint. I guess that's so that stays around the format for a longer time. It's but it was seen. already printed in a set, which would not go tight, I think. But okay. Yeah, it's been printed several times now, but whatever. And uh, Hammer. Hammer. Was Enhanced Hammer gone for a while? Uh, no, it's been a while. Okay. Uh, so it's just not been going to be here longer. Yeah. Uh, on it's... the other hand, I like the new uh, gold art better than the, the old new one. The gold just art is just bananas. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Why can't um, we get so a Crushing that's... Hammer Golden? I don't understand. I don't know either, but one thing at a time, I suppose. Um, 
Oh, it's not leaf blower. It's field blower. Oh, field blower. I was so sure it was leaf blower. Oh, okay. Field blower. It is a blower, though. We'll have to it's put that in the a, light energy. It's a blowing blower. card. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we don't have to discuss um, this, right? It just removes two tools and statums in play. Uh, just read it real quick. Yeah, it removes and any combination in and fact, it's, of yeah. tool card and stadium cards in play, yours or your opponents. And the so yours and your opponents actually matters a lot too. So. Yeah, uh, answers my question from earlier. Yeah, um, exactly. yeah, this card is great, like really great. <laughs> Um, I mean, we don't have anything better, so it's great, <laughs> right? Well, yeah. Even then, I it's mean, yeah, sniping too so, is pretty good. I like to what, think that what most did the old one do? The the uh, the tool starling megaphone or no, not starling megaphone. Scrapper. The one yeah, tool scrapper. Was that two cards? It's too? just two tools. In any con oh, it's just two tools from that one. Yeah. So this is just mm -hmm. an upgrade of that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, then it's pretty bananas. The Starling Megaphone was everything on the board? Or was it just your opponents? Starling Megaphone is all your opponent's tools. Okay. Yeah. So. So that was uh, a pretty I, good I one. think but most of the time, Field Blower is just better than Starling Megaphone too. Yeah. You usually uh, don't have, like, the, a billion tools to move. Well, the biggest thing with Starling Megaphone was that you usually played around it. You, like, always kept a float stone or something in your hand. True. Uh, yeah. Whilst this one, I don't think you'll play around this as much. Yeah, I don't know. this card's great. Is yeah. just the short answer, and and it's both great and a, an effect we didn't have and really really want. Um, and it has a golden card. Plus, it, we needed it we needed this in the game card. too. So yeah, as you said, obviously. I think it's funny. It's just kind of funny looking at the golden card and be like, oh, this looks cool, and it's just like a leaf blower. <laughs> 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 no, it's a field blower. It's sure. so much better than a leaf blower. <laughs> what is the functional difference between a leaf blower and a field blower, um, I wonder? It's stronger? I don't know. <laughs> like, blows the whole field? Like, <laughs> yep. You just stand on the side and you're like, done. Um, Amazing. Alright, and then we have Hala. Hala. And I... <laughs> I just love that thing. <laughs> I know that. Like, I'm I, I can't wait to open all those Holo Halas. It's, uh, it's gonna be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And is it gonna make you holla? So, oh my god! So shuffle your hand into your deck. If you have used your GX attack, draw seven. If not, draw four. Yeah, I like it, I and like, I also I I like it half of the time, <laughs> and then I so, hate it the well, other half right, of the time. Like, okay, so the first thing, like obviously, shuffle draw seven is great. Yes, especially so, in a Garbodor format. Yeah. I mean, sh shuffling is just great in general, but, uh, so, I mean, the real question, of course, is, okay, well, that requires us to GX attack, preferably fairly early in the game, because if yeah. we're just drawing these, like, it's pretty awkward. Um, so the only, like, the only few GX attacks you want to use early is probably, uh, draw upon, I don't know, what's his name? Uh, the, so, the, yeah, the there's dragon the question, is, thing. Like, yeah, you could do that. Um, it, it, you know, this really asks us the question, okay, go back and look at all the GX attacks. What what, what ones would you like to use on turn one? Yep. Or, I mean, and turn I two. I have the answer. <gasps> What's that? What's the answer? The five fire energies. Oh, in expanded. And you just compressor, yeah. compressor, compressor, and you just do all the and things. And you just holler all day. <laughs> I mean, once you use the GX attack, this is a really, really good card. But This card's great. But, um, and has a great full art, which is very important. And I feel like this card will only get better the more or better GX early attacks we get. Right? It does. So it does. So we'll this see. card will eventually see play. It just I think I think you might even play one and now. But I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how that shapes up. Ah, I don't know either. Away. It's it's a hard. I mean, if you have M, so it's. <laughs> I mean, N, N is, is just been bonkers, and this is okay. So. We may get to the yeah you know, we may we may get to a point where conserving cards is a little more important and the thing we are, the other thing we're all forgetting is that like once shaman goes away yeah. and we go back to like the realm of mortals yeah <laughs> or a type of way era yeah <laughs> I mean some That's... sort of mortals yeah semi mortals so, Tapu is very powerful but it is not shaman yeah. <laughs> no that's um, true anyway. 
you have to play a lot more draw supporters than you've been used to for a while. Like, that was kind of like the culture shock, like going back into Legacy for me, where you play like decks with like 12, 13, 14 draw supporters in them. Mm -hmm. And your supporters that aren't draw supporters are pretty limited because you're like, no, I just need to call risk again or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Because, it, you know, we're not used to it in standard because you can just be like, oh, Ultra Ball draws in your hand. Like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, the thing is, I actually, this might be unconventional, but I think once Shaman rotates and we only have Tapu Lele, that's going to be a more balanced Pokemon to use overall. But that's just me. Oh, yeah. Shaman, um, is, Shaman is just not okay. Like, no. I mean, like, no. I, lo I adore Shaman. Shaman is insanely powerful. I've had tons of fun playing Shaman. In all the decks. <laughs> but, <laughs> Literally all the decks. But yeah. Shaman is not just like a reasonable card. No. <laughs> basically when people ask me about like what does constructed pokemon look like yeah. i'm like well Read this card right now there's this card in the format it's just like doesn't make any sense no because usually people are like oh pokemon like yeah you have like wheel of fortune in that game every turn right i'm like oh. yeah but you can only use it once per turn so it's okay mm -hmm. and then and this... that's just Shaman's just like, what? I don't know what that even means. Like, I mean, uh, remember when Claydol was the thing to use? <laughs> that was uh, yeah. a bit different. I think that was draw up to five uh, on each turn. Yeah. Like uh, Hala is also full art, so hopefully it's playable. Let's trade for these now while they're cheap, and then if it's ever a good. Full art Hala, indeed. Yeah. That. It, it, looks, it looks great. I like a fire. And then we have the full art How, which is a uh, also from the last set. Uh, it was printed in Sun and Moon as a regular nah, one, and now it's yeah. 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 Love the art, um, but you're never playing it, so let's move this on. This is the other thing I always tell people is that Ancestral Recall is a bad card in this in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Draw three. This that is, seems so good. No, it's not. This is this is clearly not Ancestral Recall since no, we're is... yeah. But uh, you know, uh, then we have the next I've... card. Um, Mallow. Uh, Mallow. Yeah. This is interesting to me. This card. Because I think this yes. might be playable eventually. Double Vampire Tutor, here we go. Yep. Um, uh, so it puts the cards on top know. of your deck. So like, exactly. So like, they better be pretty good. Uh, well, obviously. But the thing is, if you mix this next for, well, I mean, with either Shaman right now, or with uh, Octillery, yeah. if that's going to be the draw power for the next format. So... And again, Tapu Lele is just going to find the supporter that draws your cards. I'm thinking about this uh, right now. This is probably like way too fiddly it in is. actuality, but no, not the not the card in general. But I'm just imagining, like, wanting a energy in the discard pile for like say Aqua Patch or something, mm -hmm. and like playing this card, and then acro biking my energy into the discard pile. Like you can play this card, find mm -hmm. Aqua Patch, Water Energy, and then mm -hmm. acro bike, yeah, and put the Water Energy in the discard and the Aqua Patch in your hand, and then mm -hmm. just do it, yeah. Like, that's probably just, like, not worth your supporter play and the acrobike or something. Uh, like, I mean, it, that in itself, no. But imagine that you can always... Imagine that, like, it's a bad teammates. Right. Exactly. Well, I'm in but a bad if, teammates. It's a teammates you can use on turn one on the play. <laughs> uh, but this one you can play whenever, as long as you... I mean, if you have Octillery, exactly. if, if that's the combo, right? You can always play this. I mean, you can uh, Unless you have the, many cards, but card advantage is sort of like but it doesn't have to be this hasn't to be have to be card advantage they can just be find whatever exact card you need field blower that's sure, what i'm I'll saying that's just that's what i'm saying like you know it's easy to be like oh but you're down the card and you've used your supporters he didn't yeah. draw a bunch of like but cards are a pretty malleable resource in this game you know like i said there's wheel of fortune yeah um so it's kind of like it's okay to go down cards on this if you find something good. Where to play Chainers Villain, Shaman, I like it. Yeah, and it's obviously just, like, Shaman is just like, oh, okay, use a supporter, get whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. um, this finds two puzzles, by the way. Yep, it does. Like, there, there's a bunch of neat things there's this a, card Yeah, does. there's so many things this card does. Which and is the really full art's good. really good, so I really hope we play it. That's all. Uh, I, th I definitely think that this will be undervalued. For some time, because people think, why would I want to put yeah. things on top of my deck? So I'm gonna trade for a few of these now. 
and then know, hopefully I when I started playing, they will see some play. Just battle compressor was insane. I was like, Ooh, nobody knows what cards were good in any format in this game. But battle <laughs> compressor is only good because night march exists. That's so wrong, isn't that how <laughs> that works? No. Uh, battle anyway, compressor uh, for anyone that doesn't play any other card game. If battle compressor wasn't any other card game, it would be the most broken card. Just, just saying. It is. It's buried alive. Even in Pokemon. <laughs> Course. But Pokemon is more combo oriented, so it's not. I mean, it's yeah. powerful, but it doesn't There's, have the same kind it, of. It's hard to triggers. compare the two. Like, you know, I constantly call cards in this game magic cards. Like, I, mm. I thought when we read Mallow, I said, oh, double vampiric tutor. But, like, it's just. It's so different the way resources work that it's just hard yep. to even, like, make that comparison. Um, I, I kind of like that about Pokemon, actually. And then we have the Max Potion. Uh, as I was going to say, that it's so different that if you come from another game, you get kind of confused. Like, the first time, oh, how many energies do I need? Oh, I probably need, like, 20 energies right now. You actually need five. What? No, you <laughs> you're yeah, like, I what? I need eight, five? Maybe. <laughs> oh, you're playing a really heavy energy deck where you combo all your energies out in one turn? Uh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like any other game that would be, wow, okay. Especially when you come from Magic and play, like, 24 lands. Yeah. Well, you, you, you know, I, I, I kind of understood, like, okay, we have, like, a million draw spells, that's, like, what most of our deck is comprised of, so, like, yeah, we play, like, eight in deck, but I'm like, but we're playing Blast Toys now, like, obviously we're gonna play, like, 15, 20, nah, yeah. still just, like, 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, Max Potion gets a better-looking version, according to myself, because it's a full art in Golden. Yep, I'm into the full art gold. So uh, these are um, still. I can't actually even remember what the other one looks like, but it has like a max normal potion. frame. It's like the. Oh, that's like, right. Like if you look at the right, normal max potion, art. but it's gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah I, I like the full art ones better. Multi switch, move one energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active, so that can move can special energies, play? and that's the thing. Yes. So that's why you play that can instead I, of. Can I make this complaint? Yeah. What is multi about this? Uh oh. Hmm. Uh double colors. <laughs> <laughs> like that seems, Obviously. That seems like <laughs> awfully <laughs> That's they gave a hint, <laughs> alright, in the name. <laughs> like So you gotta switch. move your double Take a multi energy <laughs> and switch it. Like yeah. do that. Yeah. Like no, there's nothing multi like you know, I assumed it was gonna be like, oh I can move all my energies or something. And, nope, it's just you, you move one. Yep. I mean okay. after you've amassed your energy. <laughs> Um, you need to be able to yeah. move something on there. I mean, I've seen enough people play uh, Energy Switch that I believe that this may get played. Yeah. Because uh, it's more... I mean, if you're playing it... It's one of those effects that's, like, very minor, yet also just wins you the game here and there. <laughs> and it works well with Manaphy. So. It's true. Very true. But then again, why would um, you play... In Water, you would just play Energy Switch, though, over this. Uh, Probably, yeah. So, um, yep. you can also play Golduck Break in water. Mm -hmm. And Starmie. <laughs> Wait, what's Starmie uh, do? Starmie return. You can discard one card to return two energies from your discard pile. Oh, that. Okay, yeah. Uh, that next is a rare candy, mm -hmm. Golden, which is just. I'm, I need these in my life. I yeah, I'm really glad that they're printing all these gold trainers again. Yeah. I mean, there are new versions of the better looking ones. I don't think Rare Candy exactly. was golden before, right? This I is mean, the in first general, one. I'm just glad that like gold trainers are being printed. Not even that they're reprints or that yeah. they're... It's just, you know, we want what, them, yeah. I'm just glad that they're making them. I don't, I don't care what they are. Yeah. Well, not... You know what I mean. I <laughs> so we don't um, have to discuss Rare Candy. Rare Candy is good. Everybody no, knows. Rare Candy is a known quantity, but it's a good card and hey, it's gold now. Great. And then we have Rescue a Stretcher. Which That's the last card. is... Kind of innocuous, but also great. Uh, yeah, I mean, once again, I saw some deck lists from Japan, and apparently this is being played. Uh, oh yeah, and I understand this... it. Oh yeah, I Cause... mean, we were play... we've played Buddy Buddy Rescue here and there. This is way better than that. I mean, if you're playing Escape Rod for Pokemon, this is just better. Super Rod. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Super Rod. This... Yeah. Sometimes you need the Pokemon right now. I mean, it's yeah. the the obvious. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Part of the question. And, uh, and you put it into your hand so you can tap Lele again with it. So you don't even need more tap Lele's. And you can put Shaman back into your hand with it and you can do all that. Oh no, your mic uh, got pulled out. But you're laughing and I. <laughs> oh no. 
Vancer is dead. Well, Vancer is dead. So I'm just gonna keep talking about this card because, yeah, as I said, this is super good. But if you need it for energy, hello, welcome back. You're back. Good. Yep, you're back. Okay. Um, you just got so so surprised by the stretcher that you had to. Um, I know. Uh, entertain. I, I died and had to be carried off on a stretcher. <laughs> so. Stretcher to the rescue. Anyway, it was all part of the plan. So yes, it's a good card. You choose one of the effects. You choose whatever you need at the moment. And yeah, yeah, it's great. I'm one thing kind of I actually want to. Do you have anything to say about that before we about rescue this stretcher? Card? Yeah. Um, I mean, other than that, it's like a very useful two different effects, both of which are good, and both of which people already play in different forms. Yeah. Um. Not nothing in particular. I mean, picking up Shaman's great. Picking up Tapulela is great. There's a long, long list of things that are yep. you know helpful. Any evolution um, that you run out of. Yeah, yeah, if you're playing Rayquaza, you can shuffle some stuff in. So you have more stuff to put in the bench. You can yep. pick up like old copies of like Night Marchers and stuff. You know, yeah. there's... it's it's a good card. The uh, list goes on and in, on. In Night March, though, I think you'd rather play Puzzle over it, though, right? Play. Puzzle. Oh well, I, there's no reason you can't also play this. You have space for it, oh, like in the current deck. Probably not, but like you could. <laughs> yeah, you could. 